Hey guys, thanks for checking out C3TV. You know what day it is. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so yes, it's Friday, and that means another video with me, the Chatterbox. But this week, we're not going to have an interview. We're going to have tool time with Chad. So we got the awesome Brody doing interviews with members of the CCC community. We have Emmy Lay doing the new This Week in Casting Call videos. And we got Doc coming up here in the future with Doc's Tech Time. But this is a new segment by me based on emboldening and elevating the awesome people at CCC. You guys, the actors particularly, to help you create the best audio possible for yourselves to get cast more. And to help out the audio engineers and producers who are casting you in those projects so they can kind of do a little less work with some of their audio. So there's a lot of audio sins that go on around CCC. A lot of stuff that we hear with uh, people improperly using noise reduction or other kind of filters to make their audio sound better. And it really, it, it may cut out the empty space in the middle, but it does a lot to damage the actual dialogue. So we're gonna talk about an alternative to uh, some of that stuff. It's called noise gates. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we go. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you Audacity. So I assume that a lot of you out there are using Audacity just because it's easy to use, it's free to use, and uh, yeah. So one thing too, noise gates don't come standard on Audacity. You're going to want to go to their website, audacityteam.org. Uh, I'll have these links down below for you guys as well, but wiki.audacity.team, NyQuest plugins, you're going to go to noise gate, clickety click, download that. Go to your downloads folder, find it in there. It would be right there because N comes before P. And be like, click, click, and you drag and drop it here. I already dragged and dropped it there to the file. To find that on PC, you'd be going to your local disk, your program files, and Audacity plugins. For Mac, I don't know. I don't care. I hate Mac. Screw you. But there you go. Boom. Now you got a noise gate in there. You'd want to go to your effects plugins and stuff like that. Add a remove. Scroll down to noise gate. Click enable. Okay. Boom. And now you're gonna wanna do something like this. So here you go, we're recording right now and I'm gonna show you a noise gate. So, there you go. It looked like some of my audio was going past 40 uh, whenever I was doing my tease. So we're gonna click, click this, go to effects, go to noise gates and show you how that sounds and how that looks. So noise gates have multiple options. So you have a different kinds of functions. Actually, I think, you know, there's gates and releases. Uh, I'm not sure what these do. View help. Oh, view tips. Okay, those are just options, but they say functions. Uh, low cut filter. A low cut filter. Well, we don't want that. <clears throat> My mic has that built in. Uh, gate frequencies above. So you're not going to worry about the frequency, you know, normally. Uh, the frequency can help you to filter out sometimes low end stuff like... Uh, Let's say you have a neighbor with a really loud truck, and all you're hearing is that low, bassy rumble. You can you can use uh, gate frequencies to filter out that stuff, or even low cut filters to to get some of that stuff out as well. Uh, but the basic features of here are attack and decay, threshold, and level reduction or range. Gate and threshold is where your gate is activated at. We're gonna put this to negative forty because I was doing a little bit of. Uh, stretching when I was doing that at first oopsies so and then noise so gate threshold at 40 level reduction is basically how hard your audio is getting pushed down because even though I see noise gates you know you get silenced it doesn't actually silence the audio it just pushes it way down so you want to get below that negative 60 negative 60 decibels is the universally understood zero noise floor that's natural, normal noise floor. Uh, negative 60 is, as we can see up here, what Audacity sees as the lowest, and is also what Audible goes off of for their normal noise floor. You need to be low. You need to be below negative 60. Uh, so we're gonna do 40. I love to have my level reduction at 40 because that's just a good amount that it pushes there. And uh, as you're messing around with your own gain on your microphone and uh, your your equipment, uh, that threshold might change a little bit depending on your settings. Uh, you're gonna want to play with that by yourself. But like I said, you want to have your gain up high enough to sound good, and to not have to be amplified too much by you know in post production or by an audio audio engineer. So assuming that your audio is high enough. You're going to put your gate threshold to 40 decibels, attack and decay, boom, boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Let's click cancel and see if we already did that. We did. Let's take a listen and see if you can hear my voice saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, as you heard, just the T because whenever I did the T. So, awesome. 
So that works better than noise reduction. The noise reduction feature, if you already have a poor noise floor, uh, it just it f your entire audio track. So that's noise gates, guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and everything. Uh, don't forget to give us some information. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys want to hear about. And uh, just say hi in the comments below. And stay beautiful, guys. Thanks for casting a wide net with CCC.